it's good to have you joining with us this morning. Today we're looking at an event from the life of Jesus. We've called it the storm before the calm. We are all at some time in our life find that we encounter storms. You may today still be reeling from one that has battered you. How do you find calm? Well I can't provide all the answers but trusting in Jesus is a good place to start and he never changes. We're going to sing together a song from our songbook number 132. Have you ever heard the story of the babe of Bethlehem? And after we've sung this, we'll listen to the band before Jean leads us in prayer. So let's sing together.
Let's just take this opportunity to come before the Lord in quiet prayer just now. Lord, we thank you today for this opportunity of being still in your presence. We thank you for all that you are, Lord, for the many blessings that we have received. Lord, you know us individually, you know our circumstances, and you understand the ups and downs that we face from time to time, the struggles that come our way, and the fears that take hold of us, and the doubts that threaten to weaken our faith in you. But Lord, we pray for your courage in these testing times, that we may lean all the more heavily upon you, to draw on your strength and support, to see us through the storms of life. You have promised, Lord, to be with us, and we rejoice in your promises, and we thank you for indeed you are a great God who is able to sustain us in all things and through all things. Amen. A little later in today's meeting, we're going to hear the Bible reading, which today is the story of Jesus calming the storm. In the story, Jesus was sleeping in a boat with the disciples, who got very scared when a storm started to rock the boat. They woke Jesus up, and he calmed the storm. The disciples were so scared of drowning. But Jesus asked them why they were so afraid. Kind of crazy, right? But you know what Jesus knew? He knew they had everything they needed to survive the storm. You see, I have this egg here with me. I'm just gonna drop it in the water. And without faith and trust in God, he just drowns. Let me take it out with a spoon just to save him. Let's see what a bit of faith and trust in God will do for our little egg friend here. I've got some faith and trust in God here. So let's add some in. First I'll add some faith in God. And then I'll add some trust in God. I'll give it a good mix to really make sure it's in there. Now that our faith and trust in God are really mixed in there, let's see what happens when we put our little egg friend back in the water. Well, would you look at that? Our little friend isn't drowning anymore. You see, it's so important that we read our Bibles and spend time with God so that we know that we have our faith and trust in God for when times get hard, and we face storms in our own life, we know we won't drown.
The reading is from Mark chapter 4, verses 35 to 41. Jesus calms the storm. That day when evening came, he said to his disciples, Let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Funny, isn't it? When things are at their worst, you hang on by your fingernails. But just before it got so bad, you'd bitten them off. So, what are you hanging on by? What about the disciples? Was the storm on the lake that day so bad that they chewed their fingernails to the quick? Now, a few of them were experienced fishermen. They braved many storms on the lake. They knew how quickly a storm could blow up out of nothing. But on this occasion, they're fearful for their lives. Teacher, don't you care if we drown, they ask. And it wasn't just their boat either. Verse 36 told us that there were also other boats. And Jesus... He's sleeping through it all until the disciples wake him. But isn't that so true of life? Storms can blow up out of nothing and our faith is shaken. We see no way out. This particular story from the life of Jesus has resonated with me these past couple of months. Concern for my father's health and well-being has been all-consuming and there have been knock-on effects. I know others, too, are being battered and all but overwhelmed with situations that they are dealing with. And we cry out to the Lord in our distress, perhaps echoing the disciples' word, Teacher, Master, Saviour, don't you care? It's as if he is asleep. Let me remind you of some words of Anna Letitia Waring found in our songbook, 
Song, one, song 711. The storm may roar without me, my heart may low be laid, but God is round about me, and can I be dismayed? When in all honesty, yes, I can be dismayed. Another phone call, just as everything seems sorted, another problem arises, another day passes with no news. Wherever he may guide me, no want shall turn me back. My shepherd is beside me and nothing can I lack. His wisdom ever waketh, his sight is never dim. He knows the way he taketh, and I will walk with him. Hear the Lord's words to you this morning. Quiet, be still. Know God's peace with you in this half hour or so that we spend together in worship, that it may radiate into your life in the coming week, whatever may try to batter you whatever news you receive. We sung these words earlier. When the oceans rise and thunders roar, I will soar with you above the storm. Father, you are king over the floods. I will be still and know you are God. Recognise the fact that the Lord is with you. He's promised never to leave you alone. Be still and alive to his presence. I know many were blessed last week with the verses of scripture that were shared that encourage us. Perhaps do that. Find a verse or a song that helps to calm your soul and spirit. In a moment, we're going to listen to a song that has greatly blessed and helped me through the storm I found myself in. Hear Christ's voice this morning, speaking directly to you, offering peace, bringing that peace and a sense of calm. Jesus got up, rebuked the wind and said to the waves, quiet, be still. Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? Anna Waring finished her song with these words. Green pastures are before me, which yet I have not seen. Bright skies will soon be o'er me where the dark clouds have been. My hope I cannot measure. My path to life is free. My saviour, my saviour has my treasure and he will walk with me. May the Lord bless you each one. And may we each soon find those green pastures and bright skies where the darkness and the storm has been. Listen now as the staff songsters sing, and I'm grateful to Major Andrew Bale of South End Citadel for his presentation of this song. Cry for help. 
Dear Lord Jesus, we put our trust in you. We know you will not fail us, even though, I, even though the way seems dark and stormy. You're there beside us. You provide the strength we need. Help us, Lord, to find those moments of quietness, just to be still in your presence, that we can hear your voice speaking to us with your words of comfort and your encouragement. Lord, for any that are finding life particularly tough at this time, part the waters, that they may know and see you. It may be in an unexpected form that you reach out. It may be with words so quiet that we can hardly hear them but make us ready and willing to listen and to hear, for you will not fail us, Lord. And may we each know your calming presence in our lives. We ask this prayer in and through your precious name, Jesus. Amen. And Amen. We've one final song to finish with. And it says this, from the heart of Jesus flowing cometh heaven's peace to me. And the song concludes with these four lines. Jesus, source of calm unfailing, with his peace my heart has filled. He abides o'er all prevailing and in him life's storms are stilled. God bless you each one. And we look forward to you joining with us again next Sunday. Let's see.